Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm making a salt dough recipe to make some ornaments, use cookie cutters to make some ornaments so that we can dry them and then paint them. Similar to what you see around Christmas time, however we're doing something a little more spring themed. So you want four cups of flour, and mix it into a bowl, and then one cup of table salt and you add that directly to the flour. And then you're gonna want one and a half cups of water, give or take a little more, a little less. I'm holding on to some here at the end, just so that I can add it as I'm mixing it. You wanna get a nice feel for not too watery of a dough mixture and not too dry, of course, so that you're able to knead the dough really well. So the best thing is getting a nice oversized bowl and then just getting your hands messy, letting the kids get their hands messy it's kind of fun. So for this part here, I'm sharing with you that I'm going to kind of gather all of the dough together and then move it onto the counter so we can work with the kids. And you'll see my daughter's little hands in the video as um, the process comes along here. So you can see that the dough is not completely sticky at this point. So I add a little bit of water and you just want to keep kneading the dough let the kids participate my daughter did spend quite some time kneading it <laughs> her little hands were getting tired here um, but she had a lot of fun contributing to getting the dough nice and ready for us to roll it out and then do the little cookie cutting so this is a great way to entertain the littles and they can take measurements too so if you want to get them to measure the water and you want them to measure the flour definitely have them participate in that because those are all great math skills to have for the kitchen so you can kind of feel once the salt is all blended in and the dough is coming together nice and tight you'll be able to feel that with your hands and then once you have a nice uniform piece of dough you can start rolling it out my recommendation is the thinner you can go like a core maybe even like half a centimeter or less try to thin out your dough as much as possible because it does cook much nicer or dry much nicer in the oven the thinner the cutouts are so i'm letting the kids cut out with the cookie cutters here we've got some bunnies for easter and some bears so you can use whatever you have on hand if you have candy canes and you have christmas trees or stars go ahead and use those as well and you can even save these for little christmas gifts for the future right be sure to also use the remnants when you cut out from the dough and reform into a new ball and roll that out so that you can continue making more cutouts the more there are the better for them to paint it keeps them busier for a long time so you'll see here that when i pull off the bunny um, it is thin but i recommend if you can even go a little thinner that is perfect because once you put them in the oven and you bake them for two hours at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you want them thin enough that they're not going to puff up because if the dough is too thick or the cutouts are too thick, what happens is the dough will kind of puff up and you don't want that. You want them to bake nice and straight. Now I'm taking a straw. You can use a bamboo stick, anything that's pointy enough. If you want to poke a hole through the top so you can feed some twine through it, say for example you are working on little Christmas ornaments or you want to use these as name tags for an Easter basket or you want to feed some twine through it and create like a mantle decoration, then at least you have some of them with little holes. Other ones you don't need to poke holes. So that's what we decided here in case we wanted to use some and feed some twine through the little holes. All you have to do is just poke a little hole and then when they go into the oven, of course, they won't close and you have the option then to feed some string through the, the top. So after they baked for about two hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, we allowed them to cool. We actually allowed them to cool and didn't do this step till the next day, but you don't have to wait that long. You can use a spray sealer if you have that on hand, or you can just use Mod Podge, applying a nice thin coat to one side or both sides, depending if you're going to be painting um, the entire 
you know, little decoration or cutout. I also Mod Podge the sides. It was just hard to share with you while I was filming with one hand. So I did Mod Podge the sides as well in case we wanted to paint the side of the cookie cutout. And then it takes about 20 minutes or so for the Mod Podge to completely dry and then you're ready to do the painting. We used acrylic paints for our project. You can use any paints you have on hand. The nice thing is this project takes a little bit of time so you have to make the dough you have to bake it so there's a bit of a process and then also painting takes time so th this is a great activity especially with us having some time we also wanted to coat the top and give it a bit of an acrylic finish so i'm using this mod podge as a test i'm not sure if it was going to work out but it did so we once the paint was fully dry wait another day before doing the top coat of mod podge and this is the dishwasher safe one so it has a really nice thick glaze it gives it almost like a porcelain look and um, or ceramic look so we did this on a couple of them and it turned out super cute so here's the finished project and you can see the little teddy bear has twine hanging through it i hope you enjoyed watching what we've been up to at home it is a little bit busy here at the house so i'm not really doing the crafts that you would typically find me doing for myself i'm doing a lot of things with the kids instead but until next time everyone i hope that you are all staying healthy and well and that you're also keeping um, yourself busy doing the things that you love in this time. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay.